Welcome back, everybody. So one in three adults between the ages of 50 and 74 have not been tested for colon cancer. You're supposed to start at age 50. Jacksonville has one of the highest rates in that category. More than 150,000 people will be diagnosed and more than 52,000 will die from the disease in the United States this year. So that is why during the month of March, the American Cancer Society is encouraging everyone 45 and older, even younger, to at least get screened. Joining me now to discuss this is Dr. Arif Kamal, the Chief Patient Officer for the American Cancer Society. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, thanks for having me. So Dr. Kamal, colorectal cancer, also the second leading cause of cancer deaths in the United States. And one statistic I saw by the end of this decade, it will be the number one cancer killer for adults younger than 50. So that's why we're talking about this, and especially when it comes to screening, and that's so important. Uh, absolutely. You know, colon cancer is one of those cancers that, um, when caught early, has a very high rate of being completely cured. The other thing about it is, is that it tends to grow uh, slowly. And so what we try to do is get ahead of it as it first starts growing. Uh, and that's why we do colon cancer screening tests. Once we find it, we just clip it out, and hopefully that's the end of the story. The reason that we see a lot of the cancers actually moving earlier in people's ages is that oftentimes people wait to have a colon cancer screening test done. They say, well, you know, I'll wait till I'm 55 or 60 because this is a test of older folks. What we're starting to see though, is that's catching up to us a bit where people missing screening at 45 and above, as you mentioned, is a reason we're starting to see earlier cancers as well. Yeah, I mean, and that's that simple conversation kind of going through the family history. A lot of people, though, are turned off by the actual test that you're supposed to get at 50. How can you kind of make people feel a little more comfortable at ease and take that stigma off? Yeah, well, when most people think about colon cancer screening, we think about a colonoscopy, right? The idea that you would take uh, a lot of um, bowel prep um, uh, liquid the night before and have to go through that process. What we recognize now is that there's several options sort of fit towards what a person's interested in, how much preparation they wanna do, how often they wanna do the test. So what I encourage everyone to do is to talk to their physicians about what's the right test for them. There's tests that we can do at home that take literally minutes that you do once a year, all the way up to colonoscopy, which requires a bit more preparation, but can be done every 10 years. What we do is look at, you know, there's lots of options. So what we want to do is have everyone fit to the right option that's best for them. Yeah, I mean, I love that. It's that conversation and really advocating for yourself for the best plan that is suits you. What are some of the big obstacles here? Because, you know, for some people, they don't have insurance or they maybe don't have a primary care doctor. Yeah, so th this is an important issue and some of it does depend on insurance um, and coverage and that kind of thing. What we've asked people to do is actually call the American Cancer Society and talk to us about it. We have 24 seven on standby at our uh, phone number, uh, a call center where we answer these questions almost 250,000 times per year. Mm -hmm. In addition at cancer.org front slash get screened, we have several uh, pieces of information and resources and contacts to get through this as well. We do not want insurance or financial issues to be a barrier for screening. And for most people, it's not. But oftentimes it requires a little bit of work and a little bit of a connection and a little bit of guidance, which we at the American Cancer Society are happy to provide. That's great. So we'll get that website and the phone number on newsforjax.com to tell people exactly um, what they should be looking for and how they can get more information. Um, real quick, just what are the symptoms? Because I know you usually don't feel them or, or, or sense them until kind of later in the disease. That's right. And so we think about this um, colorectal cancer as we need to find it before there are symptoms. Mm -hmm. Because oftentimes when symptoms present, it's very advanced and, and it's difficult to treat uh, and certainly more difficult to cure. So, you know, we don't look for things like weight loss or, or difficulty, um, you know, with energy level or anything like that. This is one of those things that silently occurs. And so we want to find it. The different types of tests are looking for uh, changes in the body, in particular, um, small amounts of blood that we look for in the tests and um, the colonoscopy itself actually looks for changes in the tissue. What I would say is don't wait till you feel different or feel worse or feel like you have colon cancer. There's not really such a thing. What it really is, is based on the calendar. If the calendar says it's been a year since you've been screened, now is the time to do it. 
Um, and that's what I encourage. So make it a part of the routine conversation with your clinicians as part of your annual physical. If you don't have an annual physical scheduled, make one now. And certainly pick up the phone, call us as well as the American Cancer Society, and let's find a way to get you to screening as soon as possible. All right, Dr. Kamal, thank you so much. Great, great information um, on this very important subject. Vic? Thanks for having me.